Robin Slim Show. We're back with Ben. Ben Randall. How's it going, man? Great. How are you, dude? I'm good. Good, good, dude. In the weeds, I saw you. You're way up in show numbers, dude. How long have you been doing it? Uh, a couple of years now. We're uh, yeah, we've got 71 regular episodes now. Nice, wow. dude. Yeah, what are we were at? Like, we're almost at 100. 95, I think mm. this show is. That's why when I saw I'll, your I'll numbers, you. I was like, you got to be up there in years too. What's yeah, up, Ben? Yeah, sure. oh. yeah, we didn't hear what you said because I was doddering on like a real <laughs> jerk off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I saw, dude, you uh, were named uh, Chicago's best uh, chef podcast. That is really oh. cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got the advantage of nobody does what I do. That's so. what I was just going to ask. Are I you the know. only chef podcast? <laughs> I would think there's got to be a couple. There's there's a couple more that are here in Chicago now, but I'm definitely the first. Okay. Which, I mean, I, I, was, I wasn't running against anybody for a while. There. <laughs> you started I, it off, so you think other people had heard your show and were like, I want to do that it too. It seemed like a decent source. It was ChicagoReader.com. I, I figured that was a good a good outlet. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that got me. That that press right there got me, I would say, most of my listeners. We didn't have anybody uh, listening to us until that article came out. <laughs> we we uh, need an article. We need an article. <laughs> I, I don't. Is there a jerseyreader.org uh, or EDU? Uh, the, the, the sandpaper. <laughs> there is, and our, I think our, our buddy Ed, Ed White, delivers for them, so yeah. he might be able to get us <laughs> in something. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, I saw, dude, you've been cooking since you're 14? Yeah, yeah. What was the first thing you cooked, do you remember? Well, I was working at a mom-and-pop uh, pizza place, so that was really my first, the, the first stuff that I was doing. I was working on that pizza line. Cool. Oh, okay. Was it the Chicago deep dish? No, this was back in Michigan, so this was more like your Papa John's, like, big, bready kind of <laughs> kind of pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It wasn't actually a Papa John's, but that's the style you get in Michigan. <laughs> Everything's Papa John's. I remember, like, I was a kid, and my family, we went to visit family in Mississippi, and, dude, there's no real pizza places down there. It's all Pizza Hut. you got to and... go to, like, Domino's. Yeah. To, that's find, all they like, have. edible pizza, you know? And that's not even edible. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Well, that's that's how they can only charge like five bucks for it because it's not made out of food. <laughs> it's made out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's crazy. What um, what uh, are you ready for Halloween, dude? Yeah, you know it's nice because I'm I'm a sucker for all that kind of stuff, but I've got two little kids, so I have an excuse. Like I'm not just the creepy guy in a costume going around the neighborhood you know i'm somebody's dad that's how i feel so. with like christmas with certain like stuff i want to check out like uh certain video games and all it's like i can't be a 40 year old man buying skylanders but i have kids so that's right. their gift and i get to play it <laughs> <laughs> it's the best excuse it is dude it totally is what is your favorite halloween treat uh, you know, I I'm I love chocolate. So if it's chocolate, that's great. You know, if you get like the the, the bullshit candy, like bit of honey or even suckers, that just I try to trade that stuff away to my kids and steal <laughs> all their chocolate. <laughs> what is up with the candy corn craze this year, bro? Everything. I don't know. Uh, I think Hershey has a white chocolate bar with candy corn pieces in it, and and candy mm. corn has candy corn, candy corn, and, and it's just candy everything. Corn, candy corn, candy. And I, Corns, it's like <laughs> aren't they kind of like sandy too isn't there something in there that's just they like made yeah. of honey i think is that it? Oh, yeah, okay. they made of honey and beeswax i think <laughs> well my miserable. theory is that like in the 50s they made a billion of these things and they still haven't sold them all so kind of like <laughs> now. there's fucking gallon <laughs> drums like, yeah just throw candy gallon corn, drums. throw it on everything pizza candy yeah. corn <laughs> <laughs> dude literally if you go any candy candy section in any store there's a ton of candy yeah. corn shit it's stupid candy yeah, corn I think it's like... right there it's, it's right there next to the u.s like cheese reserve and there's all that extra government cheese right next to that is the warehouse <laughs> of candy corn <laughs> but now to the point where it's like you could probably get a, a candy corn shaped pillow or something stupid like I, that. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, here it 
Oh man, what did you just draw, oh, Slambo? Was no, that a picture uh, or a note? Bleeding critic, critics. Uh, of my know. depiction of the the spider uh, demon. But uh. it's an anal Spider-Man <laughs> demon. <laughs> spider. <laughs> but it, what, where's all the ink? You need oh, a pen. The, the yeah, the is marker gone. died. That's why he stopped. Dead. We're gonna scan all these. I'm gonna scan them all. And we're gonna. This we're gonna unscanable. scan them all and send them to the uh, NSA. Yes. <laughs> Our intern was drawing like what four hours ago. He was drawing Halloween stuff, and now he just went back to drawing Ben. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ben, what um I did want to ask, um, do you have any kitchen horror stories? Yeah. I was thinking about that today. So, like, what really counts is a kitchen horror story. You guys don't want to hear about that because it's like 20 people walk in one minute before you close. That's the horror story from the kitchen. You know? <laughs> but that's not scary to regular people. No. I want, like, what a, I have, a guy on LSD, like, swinging butcher knives at you. Injury <laughs> stories is good, though. <laughs> well, okay. So, it, there's, there's no limit to what people are going to do in kitchens, and I'm not really sure why. <laughs> But, like, my my third job, I'm working at the Radisson Hotel in Kalamazoo, Michigan, right? Mm. And I hire I hire in, I'm, uh, I'm 19, 18 years old, 19, something like that. The dude who was training me, I guess he decided to show off. Like, he was going to impress me. Like, who the hell am I, right? So he, he dips his hand in the dry mix, and then he dips his hand in the beer batter, and then he dips his hand in the fryer <laughs> to show me that he could deep fry his hand. <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah, I know, I can, I can hear your stunned silence, right? And he's trying to be a big tough guy. Pulls his hand out of the fryer and shows me, and he's like, see? And by that point, you know, because when you fry something, it gets crispy on the outside, but it steams the inside. <laughs> yeah. And it caught up with him. Uh-huh. And it started steaming his hand, and he's waving his hand around and screaming. <laughs> Did this you is my it? first day. Did right? you taste it, bro? Train me. <laughs> 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 Rob wants to know if I you bet... took a big bite out of it. Yeah, <laughs> dude, you should have took a chop out of that. Well, no, so I'm the guy who's got to clean up, like, the cooked beer batter that's got, like, skin in it and shit that's all over the kitchen now. Oh, man. A couple knuckle hairs in it. <laughs> you know? So there's uh, there's two hospitals in Kalamazoo, at least there was in the 90s. Um, and there's one that does mandatory drug testing if you're sent for, like, a workers' comp thing. And there's one that doesn't. Well, they sent him to the one that does drug testing. We never saw that guy again. Wow. They sent him to the wrong one, bro. <laughs> yeah, you needed to keep him around. Like. <laughs> I want that guy on the show. <laughs> Get us a fry daddy, Slim. <laughs> I wish I knew that dude's name, man. That was a long – that was – 22 jobs ago, man. I, don't even remember. <laughs> I remember I you said the jobs go fast in the in the restaurant when, industry. When I worked, oh hell yeah! When I worked HVAC, there was this guy that um my boss was telling us about that they they convinced this guy that if he needed to take a shit in a bucket up up in the person the customer's attic, he could wipe his ass with uh. With the, the uh, fiberglass That's insulation. what I was going to say, the insulation. Yeah, he fucking did it. They heard them just screaming, like, minutes later. <laughs> then uh, they had another guy. We need him as an intern. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other guy, Pete? This other guy was smoking, apparently was smoking crack on the job. Oh, like, talking to the mic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this other guy was apparently smoking crack on the job. And, like, the reason they caught him was because he used that, like, the steel wool as like the filter for the pipe, <clears throat> it ended up heating up, and he sucked the, ste- the the molten steel wool into the back of his throat. It stuck to one of his tonsils. Wow, <laughs> yeah, that reminded me. I had a couple stories. Like We used to know this dude, Brian Winnington, back in the day, and we didn't think much of him, but you know, he was a regular dude. He was okay, but we, me and my buddy Brian were getting gas once at a gas station, and it's not there anymore, Luke Oil. He used to be in Barnegat, and we saw him. We were like, what's up, Brian? And he's like, nothing. He's sitting on the curb. He looks all bummed out. And we were like, what's wrong, dude? And he's like, I just got fired. And I was like, what for? And he goes, for smoking crack. <laughs> and I started laughing. And he goes, it's not funny. <laughs> That's <laughs> your fucking choice. Because it was true. I thought he was joking, bro. I thought he was joking. <laughs> and there was another one. I don't even remember. Oh, um, there was a dude I used to work with. Donovan. This fucking, like, weird dude. And he was, like, a dude that would sell his food stamps. And he had, like, I think a newborn baby or, like, a two-year-old at home. And the baby needed food and shit. And this dude would sell his food stamps for drug money. And he came in one day and he's like, 
yo, I had the craziest weekend. I just smoked crack. And I was like, dude, I wouldn't tell that to anybody. <laughs> He's like, it was so cool. It felt like a TV when it's on the static channel. You know? like, like, yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Sounds... The TV while it's on static. That's that's great. That's that just makes me want to go do crack right now. <laughs> I think I just yelled like "Crack baby loves crack," and he gave me a dirty look. And <laughs> crack we... <laughs> baby loves crack. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> wow, Ben. I know that some holidays are busy for for restaurants. Is Halloween at all? Halloween's a big bar day. So what are we looking at? Monday this week? This next week is Halloween? Yeah. yeah. Um, you'll see bars starting probably tomorrow night, in Chicago mm-hmm. at least, uh, full of, you know, uh, sexy nurses and Chewbacca's and all kinds of Harley shit. Harley Quinn's. Uh, sure. Are you going as Harley Quinn, night. Slim? Yes. Cool. <laughs> uh, I can't remember the place I was just at. I, I was out in Chicago last weekend, and uh, they had um, a sign that said they had – a Dicka, just like Dicka con- contest. I was like, that's pretty cool. That is cool. <laughs> what I mean, this year, the only thing that we're going to see this year that's different is because a lot of these bars are going to be full of folks watching the Cubs games, and they're not going to put up with, like, a uh, drunken clown pub crawl during Halloween. You know, there's going to be fights. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Drunken Dude, clown. the funniest thing was, um, I think it was the game was the last game of uh, the playoffs was already over. And I got off a plane and there's a dude in like full, uh, what was the other team you guys were playing? What, what was the other team the Cubs were playing? The Dodgers? The Dodgers? Yeah, there was a dude that got off in like Dodgers gear. So I figured maybe the game was like, he was going to it. It was just starting. And then I got to my girlfriend, Jules' house, and uh, the game was already over. I'm like, this dude, I don't know if he missed the game or what, <laughs> but he's the biggest jackass ever. Nah. The, the Dodgers had already lost. He was already in, like, full Dodgers gear and shit. <laughs> <laughs> just looking for a fight. <laughs> dude. He got into, like, a taxi or something. People were screaming at him <laughs> from the fucking road. People were so mad at him. Yeah, this town is on fire. I've never seen so many Cubs fans in my life. Because <laughs> up until, like, a month ago, there weren't that many Cubs fans, you know? <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you, dude. I, like, I don't know if you were a Cubs fan or if you were a Sox fan or what. You know, I'm from Michigan originally, so I'm a Tigers fan. So, mm. like, my season's been over since May, you ah. know? Ah, um, I'm happy to see it. Like, if the Cubs win, that's cool, but I'm not. I mean, some of these people are nuts. Some of these people. A buddy of mine is uh, renting out his parking space in Wrigleyville for 250 bucks a day. Wow. It's nuts. Dude. I was at, I was at a fucking Dunkin' Donuts, and one of the donuts just had a big W, hashtag W on it. I was like, what's that? And, and the Indian lady gave me a dirty look. Like, I didn't know that was from Wrigley Field. But... Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted a fucking French crawler and a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of looking forward to hearing about the the fights that are going to go on in bars and regularly <laughs> this weekend. You know, <laughs> did they play tonight? I know last night they lost. Yeah, they're they're playing right now. Last I checked, they were up four nothing. But I mean, things cool. change fast in baseball. Yeah, I think last night they got destroyed, man. Yeah. <sighs> What uh? It's, it's the World Series, man. Yeah. You're coming up on the on the the end of the game, you gotta. Uh, these guys are giving it their all. <laughs> yeah, man. Next time I'm out there, dude, we gotta chill. We gotta hang out, dude. Hell yeah. Are you friends with David, the producer? Uh, Twitter acquaintances, yeah. Okay, yeah, he's cool too. I I hung out with him one of the times I went out there. Yeah, he had, he said something about uh, a get together, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Yeah, Slambo. <laughs> what? What are you doing, bro? Oh, uh, okay. The, uh, the uh, <laughs> he drew uh, the, the anal the spider. Anal spider is is that... now from. Are you gonna come to Chicago and hang out, Slambo? Yes, I would <laughs> love to come to Chicago. Is Slim and hang out? <laughs> I don't know. Weather's starting to turn, man. It's going to be ugly here until, like, April. Pretty Dude, soon, right? I heard it was bad oh, you today. You Jersey, right? Yeah, uh, well, it's, it's cold here, but uh, I heard that you got, like, rain and shit, right? Yeah, it's going to rain for the next, like, two weeks, and then everything's going to freeze. Oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> I just shrug now. I just know, like, winter in Chicago is just going to suck. That's just how it is. <laughs> how many winters have you been there? Uh, we've been here about 11 years. That's so I rough. just, like, whatever. I just don't even care about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me give you this one. I was thinking, right. I was trying to come up with stories that were uh, restaurant injury stories. You guys are going to like this one, right? <laughs> okay, so nice. I went, to, I, I went to culinary school out in Vermont, and we had this gal. I don't know how you guys feel about body shaming. We had this gal who was, uh, she was super overweight. Just like, we called her uh, well, Robin Bad Ankles, right? Yeah. Because, this is how I feel Robin. about body shaming. Let me just correct what you said. She was fucking fat. <laughs> <laughs> she was a hog. <laughs> She was so fat, she got out of bed one day, and the weight of her body fractured one of her ankles. Right? <laughs> so we're, we're working. This is our breakfast class, our breakfast line cooking class. And you know, a chef coat hangs down to, like, your pocket, but right? it's long. Mm. But if you're, if you're big enough, it hikes up in the front, right? So everybody's doing their stuff. She's working the flat top. We're all making breakfast and whatever. All of a sudden, she starts screaming. Her chef coat had hiked up enough while she was working, while she was leaning over the flat top, that her belly had fallen out and was, like, searing on the top of the flat top. Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh. oh my God. Thing, like, like, you know how, uh, uh, like, the brontosauruses and shit had that little extra brain in the back to, yeah. to yeah. guide their tail around? Yeah. yeah. She, didn't, she didn't have one of those, right? So it took her a minute to realize that her belly was, like, laying on the flat top. And by the time she did, like, she had to go to the hospital and shit because she had these burns on the under part of her belly. Oh, man. That's some, like, wow. pork belly. I, I used to work in a pharmacy, and one of the old people, senior citizens, came in with, like, their hands bandaged up once, and that was what it was from, dude. Yeah. They, they, they were so <laughs> out of it, they, their hand was on the fucking stove. <laughs> And it just burned. They didn't realize for oh like a minute. Oh, my God. She braised her fupa. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Would, exactly. You, would you date her, Slamborghini? Uh, <laughs> would you, Slam? Too much work, man. Of course. <laughs> I got to take what I can get at this point. Would you rub Bassett <laughs> Tracen on her fupa? Uh, you'd have to pay me. <laughs> I don't know. That's so bad. That is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever burnt yourself, Slambo, in a provocative area? Oh, I burnt one time. All right. Yeah, I burnt my dick getting into the shower one time. <laughs> wait, no, no, is wait, this wait, real? Okay. Is this a joke? Okay. You know how, like, this is recent. Uh, you, you know how sometimes you can never turn the uh, the water on hot <laughs> enough? So I, yeah. I turned it all the way up, just so fucking hot. Yeah. I get in. And you use your dick and to just, like, get in. Warm I kind of just water. get in dick first, and it just yeah, burns. Yeah, I'm like, ah! He's, got a, he's obviously got a boner when he's walking in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I, I probably had, like, morning wood or something. He, he and takes the Viagra. He's thrusting, to take his, a he's thrusting his pelvis just so the dick touches. I'm just like, oh, all right. Ah! <laughs> Did you come? No. Oh. <laughs> Did it leave like a like it was burnt? Like oh, a it left a mark. Did you have like <laughs> sores and shit? Yeah, it left a, like a sore there because like oh. the next day I was like <laughs> at my ex girlfriend's house and she saw it. She's just like, <laughs> she's like, what the hell's going on down there? <laughs> Did she give you penicillin? No, no, she didn't. Somebody should have, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it healed. <laughs> like, you know, like, I, I, I feel my hand first. I'm like, dick. Like, ah, you'd never oh, no. test the temperature with your dick. Bro. Well, no, it, it was kind of just I like, got in, like, straight up. And for some reason, that was, first. that was the part that burned for some I, 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 <laughs> he, He's burn proof except for his dick. Except for my dick, apparently. It was my weak, the weak point. You should have went and asked for his, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, but at least I don't think my ass would have burnt as bad. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> would you sit on the stove right now? No. That's what I was going to say. Why don't you stick your dick stick in a fucking dick fire? In a, in a fried daddy. I'd rather never. Uh, I think you should work with Ben. <laughs> yeah. I think you'd have a great story to tell us. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Day, day one, the first training is teabagging the fryer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> teabagging the fryer, yeah. <laughs> and yelling at <laughs> Yeah, baby. <laughs> Sounds. Well, here's. Here's the lesson that every young cook learns, right? So you're like, you're making pico de gallo, you're making some, you're making like a salsa, right? Mm. And you're chopping onions and tomatoes and garlic and jalapenos for like two hours, right? Then you go to the bathroom, you don't wash your hands first, and all of a sudden your cock is just on fire for like three days. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody warns you about that shit. You have to learn that for yourself. I did that with uh, Tiger Bomb. Like the first time I, I put it on, like I went to wipe after I. I took a dump and yeah, it doesn't it doesn't feel good on your asshole. <laughs> oh. yeah, <no. laughs> Dude, the only from what I understand, the only thing that's worse is if you're that same line cook and you go home and finger your girl, it's worse for her. Oh my god. <laughs> Would you finger yourself, Slambo? No. Nah. After doing that. <laughs> No. After being a prep cook. I, I don't know. Maybe you'd have to give me the strongest Tiger Bomb. Well, no. Uh, we got Tiger Bomb and, like, what? A ghost pepper. Yeah. yeah ghost pepper. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Sounds uh, unpleasant. <laughs> Sounds pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. All right, Ben. I think we got to wrap this up. Why don't you let yeah, everybody dude. know uh, where they can find you and we'll let you go. Oh, yeah. So um, the the podcast is called In the Weeds with Ben Randall. We're on iTunes. We're on Stitcher. And it's what we've been talking about. You know, it's just stories from all the restaurants where I've ever worked. Um, I'm at uh, In the Weeds WBR on Twitter. It's where you guys found me. And it's the easiest way to get a hold of me. Awesome, dude. Thank you cool, so thank you, much. Man. Yeah, yeah. Always a pleasure, fellas. Cool. Have a good Absolutely, one, man. Absolutely, dude. Have a good one. <laughs> All right. Happy Halloween, guys. <laughs> happy, happy Halloween, happy brother. Halloween. So I think Ron Burlington? Burlington should sign us out with a scary Halloween story. Oh. <laughs> All right, folks. Glad you guys uh, remembered me today. So I'm just going to tell you a little little Halloween story. Long time ago. See, long time ago, I was... Uh, I was working in my uh, my little uh, elementary school class in Mastic, Long Island, and uh, I heard a noise, a, a very loud noise in the bathroom, and I was intrigued by the loud noise. So I walked into that, I walked towards that door, and I opened the door, and I caught one of my students raping another student. And I was never the same since. Is you that why he touched me? You guys? Why'd you do that? You're watching the, uh, you were watching the Robin Slim show. Ron, jeez. Hundred Ro years. Ro Ron, Robin Slim. And don't, don't forget to vote for Slam Bagini. Don't forget. Shit. Feed the cat. <laughs>